You sure know how to make the best of a confusing and hopeless situation, but boy, this place is quite the enigma, wouldn't you say? I would. And you know, a little warning would have been nice. You know, before they threw us headfirst into this gladiatorial, prisony place with its perilous medley of twisted stage productions that shred the silky fabric which weaves together the fragile blanket of sanity that keeps us sane. But you know, whatever. Either way, it's safe to say we're in quite a pickle jar here. We gotta rescue our friends and get back to Mr. Boat. I mean, they do the same for you, and adventuring just wouldn't be the same without, I don't know, this guy. Best chef in all the land. Food so stupid delicious one taste would blow your face through the back of your head. Like bang, splat! And who could forget this quirky fellow? You know, he owns a bat farm back home, and his lifelong dream is to breed a terrifying race of super bats. None of which makes any sense, of course, because he's absolutely terrified of bats. And this lovely lass always tells the best bedtime stories, hands down. Plus, she always smells like chocolate. So that's good. And then there's this guy, and this handsome fellow, and that thing. All your best friends imprisoned. And they don't like it very much because it's bad and horrible. And then there's Hattie, the best friend of all. Why did he stab us in the back and twist the blade? I mean, just this morning, he gave everybody flowers and presents, and now he goes out of his way to hurt our feelings? Oh, I think not. You can't fool me. Hattie would never betray us. B betray us. Never. Something fishy's going on here, and I think I don't don't like it right now at all. It must have something to do with that scary, albeit fashionable hat. Sure looks evil. I mean, it's glowing red and stuff. Glowy red stuff is always bad. Everybody knows that. So what dangerous treats lie in store as we continue to unravel this treacherous sweater? I don't know. But use caution as you continue your gallant endeavor. Don't, don't like, fail and die and stuff, because it's all up to you now. What? Why did, why did it do that? That was, that was scary.